Savoy Mboila, the leader of the NDC, walked to freedom today after being granted bond extension by the Lusaka Magistrate Court. The judge's decision came following an application by Mboila's lawyers, allowing her release from detention. The trial is set to continue on September 10, 2024 at 9 a.m. In a first media interaction following her release, Imboila addressed the appealing conditions of the detention facility where she was held. She highlighted the inadequate conditions faced by women detainees, calling for urgent attention to their plight. Uh, good morning, everyone. I am very, very happy to be here. I think uh, the prison conditions are very bad. A prison can either make you or break you. And I pray that it has made me, because trust me, I was uh, telling um, President Katega earlier and the women here just behind, I'm sure you have heard, to say that if I want to be president or running mate in Uka, I want to be Minister of Home Affairs, okay? <laughs> I want to be Minister of Home Affairs because we need to correct a lot of things, a lot of things. Right now in the women's section of Achumboka, you know, there's a serious outbreak of fungal infections among as many things, serious outbreak. So I think I'll talk to, um, to Uka and the women, because I'm seeing Uka women here, I'm seeing the women from CF, we've got our national chair lady, we've got women from ULP, I can see GPZ here, and New Heritage Party, everybody's all represented here. The PF is here, you know. Yeah, we need to do something as women. And for me, even the incarceration itself, I think God just did that. You get the point? Because everything happens for a reason. So the reason why I went to Kawata, I saw it. When I went to Kawata, by the way, there were women where even ARVs are not being given. Five days, somebody's on ARVs are being given. And when I went there, I was saying, the police, these people have got rights, please give them. And um, I thank God that by the time I was leaving, at least the situation was okay. Right. In a show of solidarity, members of the United Squatcher Alliance, UCA, were present at the court this morning to support the NDC leader. They stood by Mboila, expressing their concern over her detention and the conditions she endured. Ah, ile concern yanga, munga wazimai, iba mene tipeze kawe mu prisons. Mulibana, iba mene babadura mkati, iba mene muja, iba javana, iba kudira mu mene muja. Iba mene chitanta uzakuti, iba chumana, iba kudira mu prison, na vichitidwefia vake, iba zankara vama muja mkati. So, ise, munga wazimai, Konseni ya tuliona kutibajawana sendo kuna peze kanjira. Ya kutibajawana sivanka la muja, sivakuli la muja. Because muja wako nzira bintu bambi. Siko umu. Um, my name is Persa Shekafuswa, Golden Party National Challenge. We've, uh, we're very excited that Madam Savoy has uh, come out. And then I would like to urge the uh, prison process to uh, enhance the process of health towards the women and the children. As she has explained in her statement, it uh, saddens my heart as a mother and uh, a sister. Someone has been incarcerated for a long time over a civil case that can be dealt with. Let's uh, age the judiciary to hasten the simple cases that can be dealt with as quickly as possible so that the prisons can be congested. Thank you. Yeah, the arrest of uh, President Sawo Imboela has made us as women to appreciate what goes on in the correctional facilities. A lot of women there are suffering because they are no, uh, they don't have the utilities that they need to have. You know that women need a lot of uh, things for them to live well and those facilities are not there. And uh, I want to remind uh, the president that during his inauguration speech, he said that no one will be incarcerated for more than 48 hours without trial. So this is the easiest thing that he can fulfill because it does not involve a lot of, um, a lot of money. The judges are available. The facilities are available. The lawyers are available. The accused are available. What they need to do is just to look at the, the framework of time so that it is done within 48 hours so that as Savoy Mboila prepares to face trial on September 10th her release and the conditions of her detention have sparked conversations about the treatment of women in custody we will continue to follow this case closely and bring you updates as they unfold I am Anim Lenga
reporting.